In 1904, when collies were a hot breed, millionaire J.P. Morgan bought this champion, Wishaw Clinker, for a whopping $10,000, which today would be $250,000. Later, the tales of Lassie made her the most famous dog in the world. She even has her own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. But collie intelligence and devotion are anything but fiction. In 1923, Bobby walked 3,000 miles from Indiana to Oregon to find the loved ones he lost on a family vacation. Okay, so the collie, let's face it, it's the boy scout of the dog world. Collies were developed centuries ago in the hills of Scotland and Wales to be man's all-around helper, herder, guard dog, and devoted companion. Their name actually comes from a black bay sheep that they used to um, herd, and it's called a collie. Most folks believe collies are the descendants of dogs that came to Great Britain with the Roman invaders of 50 B.C. These were crossed over the centuries with native Scottish dogs, giving the breed its wide assortment of colors. Sable, tricolor, white, and blue merle. Later, this dog, the Borzoi, entered the mix. The dogs with the arched back and the really long faces, that's why the collies have that really, really long face. According to the American Kennel Club, collie ears should always be folded at the tip, never fully pricked like a German Shepherd's. The early breeders were adamant about certain attributes in their special canine assistance. They needed to have a long, thick double coat, both for weather resistance in the harsh Scottish climate and to protect the collie's throat in skirmishes with predators. Dogs with this rough coat were more commonly herders, while the smooth coat collies were more suited to driving the herd to market. Collies also needed a sturdy, agile frame to contend with rugged terrain. And finally, they needed a superior brain. It's much more the independent thinker, the animal that's going to go out on a mission and solve a complex problem and come back having solved that riddle for your family. Wait, wait, quick! Quick, quick, quick! When it comes to herding, collies have the whole package. They stalk and eye their charge without following through with the kill. Go buy out. Much better. And they have the smarts to learn what their handlers want, an ability that comes from their intense natural affinity for humans. Come on, come on, Willow. It's this symbiotic relationship between farmers Casey and Bill Makala, both strict Quakers, and their busy collies that make life special here at Quaker Hill, their farm in northern Michigan. Around this place, collies are king. I consider the dog's contribution to this farm very important. It's integral to what we do. They provide a service to us that we couldn't otherwise meet that need without the dogs. For the Makalas, their rough collies are working partners on the farm herding the cattle, sheep, and goats. Sometimes livestock tends to scatter, and that can be problematic, but with them, it's not anymore. Also, we have a lot of coyotes here, so they function uh, for herd protection as well. From the very beginning of life, the Makalas make sure their dogs will live up to their full collie potential. The Makalas select their breed stock for intelligence and temperament, but that's just step one in creating great collies. Good, 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 no. By exposing puppies between six and 10 weeks old to different people, noises, and experiences, like today's swimming lessons, the Makalas believe their dogs will be better thinkers, companions, and herders. But these collies do more than just herd. They teach kids valuable lessons about the inner workings of Quaker Hill Farm. We raise collies on goat milk. The dairy goats depend on the collies for protection and company out in the field. And the collies are part of a children's reading program. Billy, Billy, come along. As reading education assistance dogs, the collies provide unconditional support and encourage kids to read out loud. I love to please you still. Dogs are non-judgmental. They pay attention to you. That's what makes a child respond with confidence. What a good boy am I. Their reward for all this hard work, herding and teaching? The food, one of the most enviable perks for these dogs. Can you get that one? Does that look good? 
On the menu tonight, a stew of all good things from the farm, topped off with a dollop of cottage cheese. We should all eat so well. But for Casey, at the end of the day, the most important job these helpful creatures perform is that of cherished pet and companion. They're there to just be with you, and that's how they make you feel, because what matters to them the most is what you need, what we need, what I need. That's what they want to fulfill. I cannot imagine life without them. You did a good job. Yeah, yeah, you did a good job. So how do collies do off the farm? Well, all appearances to the contrary, they do well in apartments with a good long walk every day. And despite their thick coats, they do surprisingly well in heat. What the coat does is it traps the air under the coat and it actually insulates and can cool the dog. Collies have few health issues. They are prone to hip dysplasia, progressive retinal atrophy, and should never be given a dog drug for skin disorders called ivermectin. Collies are very sensitive to ivermectin. Caused by a genetic brain deficiency, 35% of all collies are vulnerable. When it comes to grooming, it's no picnic with a rough collie. This is a coat that needs to be brushed constantly, and if you are not a fan of shedding people, this is not the dog for you. The smooth coats are easy keepers. Collies were bred to work closely with people, so they are easily trained. Collies love and are naturally protective of children. But remember, herding is in their blood. The Collie report card then looks like this. They're good in heat and cold and can live in small spaces if exercised every day. For health, Collies score high marks, but watch for big dog problems. Grooming can be intensive depending on the coat type. They're one of the most trainable dogs anywhere. And Collies are good family dogs, providing you socialize them to children when they're young. This is a good doggy. Next on Dogs 101, meet the dog that strikes fear in Wolverines, Badgers, and Nittany Lions. It's Ugga, the mascot of the University of Georgia.